Today, the Ospreys are on their stage. They have their chance to send ripples through the pool by delivering a performance that is of the highest class. And Dan Bigger announced himself yet again at Welford Road, and he starts this fascinating game. Ospreys fans at times, and Julian White went at them. Yeah, it is important the Ospreys clear out those racks, though. Give Mike Cliff the more a platform. Chance for three. And that is the perfect start. Hook slid away very quickly. He knew it was through. Tap back and Phillips shovels it on to Holler. Bigger having a look, tried to unleash the inside runner in Walker. And Walker offered himself that. Bigger just couldn't quite get them all. Walker dabbing that one through. Oh, chance for the try. Nicely taken. Tommy Bow. What a start from the Ospreys. Very much on the front foot. A little pick through came from an unlikely source. It's Nicky Walker putting a lovely little chip through. And Tommy Bowe's there to finish it off. That's so great. Phillips. Phillips going himself and drops his shoulder. Fancied he could cross the line. Maybe one of his teammates now will do it. Collins has a go. Surely the try's got to come now. It does. Ryan Jones and the captain has put the Ospreys in a fantastic position now. Madness from Rougerie. Ended up costing them dear. And the new finish from Ospreys as you want from an attacking side to be clinical. Now with a good grip on this game, but remember they had an excellent grip on the Leicester game. They were 18 points up at one stage against the Tigers last week. Not proud. Bigger. Little chip up the middle, oh, wonderfully weighted. Big chance now for the Ospreys to extend their lead. They're going to do it. Barry Davis, try number three. What a great, great 40 minutes from the Ospreys on the stroke of half-time. What a great way to finish the half as well. Beautifully timed run there by Tommy Bow. Offloading in the tackle, great support. Lovely hand there by James Hook as well. To how to take and give a pass at full tilt. That's what James Hook can give you in those open spaces. First of all, the chip over the top was perfectly weighted. Great take by Bo. Didn't take his eyes off the ball at all. Offload in the tackle. But what a pass by James Hook. With the defender moving on, that's how you take and give a pass. Beautifully. And the time charge there from Barry Davis. Held his depth. Didn't put any more pressure on James Hook. Perfect way to finish a half. Tackle area. And his carrying ability as well. Jerry Collins is my Heineken man of the match. The Ospreys put under massive pressure and Clement looking for the penalty may be there, but it's the Ospreys that managed to get the penalty. It has been eye-watering up front, particularly at scrum time. And the Ospreys now know that they have this game. They just need to kick it off the pitch. And this fascinating pool three encounter is theirs. They've worked hard to get back into this game. It seemed the sense that Clermont had the momentum very much. They started to put a stranglehold in their second half. Ospreys done in the first half in quick tempo game, which suited their style of rugby, suited where their talent like.